Okay, just in case you did not know it, on yesterday, Kamala Kamala Harris had a rally in Atlanta. And it gave you like, oh, Atlanta's hype for her. Like, people are so excited for her. I know you felt it. I know you saw it. She even brought out Ratchet Megan Thee Stallion, shaking her butt, twerking for a political rally, talking about hotties for Harris. <laughs> That did not turn your stomach. Like, that is pandering, like, if you've ever heard it. But, but, that's not the catch -em. Do not let that rally looking f uh, full fool you because Fulton County has been doing this for years. Before the rallies, they get busloads and they go pick up the homeless people. They offer them food, drink, and a little change to come to the rally so the rallies will look full. So that's why you only saw certain angles as well, but I want you to know people aren't for her like that. That's that's why they're having to pick up homeless people. But it's been said for years that they literally will go pick up homeless people on the days of the election and pay them to vote. They need the money, so they do it because what poor and desperate is what they're banking on. And I saw yesterday them picking up the homeless people to come to the rally. So do not be fooled. They'll tell you it's a lie. I'm telling you, this right here, thousand percent the truth. So we got Black Twitter, Black X, Black, the Black socials up in arms about the way that the Dems have decided to once again pander to the Black community. But I'm confused because I'm like, this is what they've always done? This is how they've always treated the Black community? So I don't know why y'all keep giving them your Black vote. I'm, um, you know, bowing in daishiki. <laughs> I can not get that out of my mind. I mean, oh, Biden told you himself we, that, that they own you, that you ain't black if you don't vote Democrat, right? So I don't know why everybody's up in arms, but I, I am happy to see it. I am happy to see that more black people are like, nah, like don't treat us like we some low class, ignorant black folks that you throw some fried chicken at us and some hot sauce and a little bit of side of twerking, that that's gonna give us your vote. I keep seeing the Megan Thee Stallion TikToks from that concert and I am still scratching my head. Are we living in the twilight zone or what? Having Megan the Stallion twerk is not gonna fix our economy and it's not gonna stop the legal immigrants from flooding this country. But now Kamala is promising to fix the border, the border that she has never even visited. She's in the White House right now. So if she wanted to do something about the border, she could. She's in a position to do so. I don't know if y'all are taking suggestions, but I have one. Why don't y'all go down to the border Put a concert on down there. Maybe then you can raise enough money to finish rebuilding the wall. This is literally the worst border crisis in American history. Last thing I want to say is this. Please do not allow yourself to be influenced by gender, skin color, party, or ideology. Pick the candidate that you believe will move you forward and put your country back on track. Because from my vantage point, it is a complete and utter shit show. We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. I made a video the other day about how the Democrats never really run on policies. Like they never give you their objective, their long list, their laundry list of policies of how they're gonna make your life better. They never talk about the healthcare system, the economy or war, anti-war, or you know what I mean? Like they never tell you how they're gonna put more money in your pocket and make the education system better for your future children. They don't run on policies and they don't run on their successes because they don't have many of them. They don't have many successes, so they can't run on that. So they run on fear mongering, which is screaming racism every four years, you know, you know, hyper focusing on some sort of riot, race, riot, race, protest, play that on 24 seven. They run on, you know, for the last six years, eight years, orange man bad. And then they pander to the black folks, how they think, how they view you, how they view us. This is how they view us. This is how they view the black folks. This is how they view the pox the plc's the people of color this is how they view us as low class uncultured uneducated ignorant idiots who are going to vote for them no matter what because your mommy and your pappy did and because again orange man bad scary white people are going to get you if you don't vote for us campaign meeting today was as cringe as seeing juvenile do vax that thing up it was cringe and I don't give a damn how y'all feel about it. That shit was embarrassing as hell. I'm not mad at Megan because Megan was just getting a check. But when did popping your pussy become something for women's rights? <laughs> pussy politics. <laughs>
Gucci crumbs for Kamala. <laughs> Hose for Harris. <laughs> I'm laughing to keep from crying because this is some embarrassing shit, y'all. Why are y'all voting for this shit, man? Why are y'all standing for this? Come on now, sisters. What are y'all doing? And you know what's crazy? It's like when I go in people's lives and we ask people why they're supporting her, they never have a fucking answer. It's always identity politics. Just ignore all the failed democratic policies that's hurt the black folks. Just ignore all the democratic politicians that have harmed the black community. No, 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 ignore that and look at Meg the Stallion twerking her black behind in front of your black eyes. You know what I mean? So that is what they've always leaned on. And so I'm confused why people are so surprised by it, but I'm happy that people are speaking up about it our unelected democratic candidate running for the president of the united states so i'm happy about it i still don't have much faith though i still think that majority of black folks will go to the left to the democrats because people are just used to um doing what they've always done people don't change that much but I do think slowly, but surely, the left is losing the black votes, and that's why they're hyper focused on the open borders because they want to replace the black votes and replace that oppressive class, right? Um, so, you know, in the next eight years, 10 years, you'll see them pan pandering to the illegal immigrants about how oppressed they are instead of how oppressed we are. But anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of, the, of this video of the pandering of, of the left and Kamala Harris' a team uh, to the black community. Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal and Cash App link is in the comment section down below. Or you can super thanks. And you guys have an, an amazing day. Bye-bye.